It is a privilege to be part of tonight's ceremony and to pre present Stonehill's first football team from 1970 for introduction into Stonehill Athletic Hall of Fame. Without the dedication of these men, Matt and myself would not be playing football here at Stonehill today. Emerging from an intramural all-star game against St. Anselm, the team took shape behind the efforts of team members Paul Finn, Mark Welch, and Ernie DeSimony. Key among their efforts was landing Dave Knight, who gave the team instant credibility as the team's first head coach from a defunct semi-professional football team on Long Island, from which the team also got its first powder blue and maroon uniforms. <laughs> the Stonehill Knights made their debut with a road game at Worcester State with Mike Berry scoring the first touchdown in team history. Without a place, oh yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Without a place to play on campus, the Knights play their home games at Keith Field in Brockton with their home debut against Bristol Community College in early October. Stonehill's first win was a 14 to 12 home victory against St. Michael's in early November. And while that would prove to be its only win of the season, the fall would prove to be a huge success moving forward and laying the foundation for the program we have today. One for all, all for one. These men, my friends, took a chance. They put in the time and they made it work. The Stonehill experience back then was unique. Everybody knew everybody else. We all looked out for each other. Today it can be said, today it can be said with certainty, our best friends are our mates from Stonehill. And to all of you, we salute you. There are some of our friends who have gone before us, and I, I know I'm going to leave out a few. Mike Randall, great player, great person. Flory Gobeil came here from Notre Dame and taught us all how to play defense. Bob Casey, brilliant red hair and unbelievable sideburns. <laughs> Jeff Roddenbush. Jeff Roddenbush, it was his vision with Mark Welsh and Ernie DeSimone to put this idea and this concept together. And of course, Dave Knight, a terrible, terrible coach. <laughs> but he was free. <laughs> and because we're Irish, you know that old expression, if it's free, it's for me. <laughs> but last, last but not least, I like on the behalf of the team, the 1990, 19, what was he, 70? 1970, see, I'm 68 years old for Christ's sake, give me a break. We all wanna thank you, Father Denning. We wanna thank John Noblin. We wanna thank Dean O'Keefe. We wanna thank Doug Smith. We wanna thank our dear friend, Frank, Fran Dillon, Frank Dillon, Fran Dillon, Fran, Fran, Fran Dillon. But last but not least, we want to thank the entire Stonehill College community. Thank you for letting us do this. We appreciate it very much, more than you know. Thank you. <laughs>